in case there is a problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what does trade defense mechanisms entail? Very briefly. It would mean that you, you can either put uh, quantities or what you call a, a quota or you put a tariff mm -hmm. or temporary restriction. Like mm -hmm. Kenya has been doing in the case of, say, sugar, mm -hmm. where they say only import so much to allow that the sugar industry in Kenya should flourish. Okay, mm. great. Now let's take a look at another opinion where Abraham Dorf Mudogo says, free movement of goods will create efficiency and countries will only have to produce what they have comparative advantage of. The inefficiencies caused by tariffs will fall. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a look at another. Anderson Dr. Jumbo says, I don't think so. African countries hold different ideologies in terms of governance and economy. It will cost us so much to standardize the economy of one African entity. Well, I, standardization, of course, is, is a costly exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you consider the fact that if you don't standardize, what is the alternative you have? Because when you standardize, in, it means you can be able to produce bigger volumes. Mm -hmm. At the moment, you can only buy from those who sell to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And yet, which standards are going to use? All there is is to adopt the standards that Africa will have taken from the rest of the world. We are not going to reinvent the standards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, uh, we take a look at another. At Munge Kinyanjui, this is what SAP says. Yes, open borders allow free trade and an unrestricted flow of capital and ideas. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Moving forward, at Evering Ninga says no. Security is a challenge in this continent. Without proper vetting, the arrangement will usher in a new era of terrorism. I don't think when you say free movement of people, it means that you cannot vet. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, now the world is moving towards, that's where you're having all these Udoma numbers, you have a digital passport, you can have that information shared across border, so that when you are reaching the border, people can check who you are. Uh, so th th that, is, that is not going to be an issue just because... Uh, of, of free movement, mm -hmm. there are also technologies that you can use to make sure that you protect yourself. So do thorough background checks on people and ensure it's ethical people working at the border. Exactly. Okay, mm -hmm. let's take a look at another. At Josh Sima says, no, our goods are not up to standard. We all produce the same goods. This will only open us to unhealthy competition or no competition at all. That's a foreign ideology that has been implanted in us to say we produce the same goods. Uh, tell me whether Nigeria produces co co tea. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. If mm -hmm. you go to Morocco, they don't produce uh, coffee. But uh, look at uh, a region like the East African uh, community. Kenya produces maize, Uganda, Tanzania, the same thing. Uganda sugar does well. Kenya's sugar industry is almost dying. But Kenya is still hell-bent on producing that sugar. But that also helps you to realize that you, there is something wrong with your sugar industry. Mm -hmm. How come in other uh, you know, markets the sugar industry is stronger than ours? Have Maybe they you realized have to, that? You, have, you start to look at whether it's your rainfall, the way that the, the, the sugar industry is put. Because in some areas, if you look at Sudan, sugar is not rain-fed. It is, it is actually irrigated. It is a large scale. In Kenya, it's small scale. Mm -hmm. And our sugar, sugar mills are so small. Plus, there are also taxes, there are management issues. Uh, in fact, it exposes. If it wasn't for this trade, we wouldn't have realized how bad our sugar industry is. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, let's take a look at another. Oh, that's what we have, all we have on uh, WhatsApp and uh, on Instagram. Now, we move on to Twitter, I presume. There you have it, our Metropole TV page, Terry Anchebet, Brenda Nyamichaba, and the rest of the team. Now, at Dorka Angulu says, with 80 to 90 percent of goods moving by road, we need to fix our road connectivity in the continent. Not just red, road. Mm -hmm. We need now also to do rail mm -hmm. and also encourage more air. There are some products that we can move by air. But Kenya did the SGR and uh, businessmen are complaining that it's very expensive to move your goods via SGR than it is to move by road. I think it's a problem because there is a, 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 a lack of proper handshake from the port to SGR to uh, inland terminal. Mm -hmm. It's a transitory problem. Mm -hmm. And of course the SGR was also supposed to be uh, beyond Nairobi. 
once that all those uh, thithy problems are removed, mm -hmm. you'll start to see the benefit. Okay, mm -hmm. there you have it. Let's take a look at another where Stephen Jor says, can Mpesa be as vibrant as it is in Kenya and other African countries? It's a resource we could all trade in. Speaking of ways of paying for goods and services, uh, we were speaking of an African currency. The East African community has thought of uh, a regional currency payment model. That's an excellent idea. Mm -hmm. um, why not? I mean, I, 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 I can't see M-Pesa not being adopted by many countries in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be adopted in the next few years. Mm -hmm. That is going to be the mode of payment around the world. Okay. Mm. Let's take a look at another tweet. At Odwar Vincent says, we need to harness our manufacturing power as a container to be able to feed the continental need. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at another. We have at Abuya Patricia says, I hope the continental agreement will not only harness trade, but promote intra-Africa tourism. A Kenyan can vacation in Lagos, Victoria Island, and a Shad national can enjoy the beach in Diani. You know, the reason for removing Africa has actually been an enemy in itself for itself. Mm -hmm. Because even moving from one African country to another, you have to go through Europe. Okay. So when you, you, you encourage uh, removal of visas, uh, and if you create airlines, I can see airlines now, Rwanda, Kenya, Ethiopia, starting to take a foothold, we will. I mean, who knew that Kenya would be a domestic tour destination? The Kenyans now being a source of revenue as tourism, going to Mombasa and all this, is, is, is bigger than we thought before. Mm -hmm. So intra-African tourism will also increase. Mm -hmm. uh, there are many people who may want to come to Kenya or you may also want to go and see what is in Mauritius you want to go to South Africa you want to go to Nigeria speaking you, of South Africa yeah. getting a visa to South Africa is chaotic that's part of the challenge because if we don't address those kind of things then we will not be able to move forward mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's take a look at another tweet right there by Kevin Kabuya he says hashtag metropole debrief what kind of product is Kenya and Africa ready to trade with itself considering agriculture is still a mainstay agriculture and extractives are some of the largest raw materials that are produced in the continent by the way if you look at trade statistics of East African community and Comesa you see a lot of manufactured goods Kenya produces a lot of chemical products, uh, some electronic products, uh, which are assembled and which can also be sold in the region. Mm -hmm. But the reason why we don't have many more manufactured goods is because we don't have basic industry. Mm -hmm. You can't set up, for instance, an iron and steel industry, a petrochemical. Nigeria produces oil, but that oil goes out as crude oil. But if you have a larger market, then you can start to see production of chemical products uh, you know, industrial products that we can sell with it. So the solution is in a larger market. Exactly. Great. Let's mm -hmm. take two last tweets. There's a tweet here by at Dan Okari says, opening up borders means opening up points of vulnerability. With crooked businessmen, it's very easy for some people to expect to export rather goods very cheaply and sell in the continent. I don't know. If, you know, African uh, the borders are porous. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go through the main, uh, in fact, the best way you control is make it easy for people to come through the border mm -hmm. uh, because right now they can go. I mean, if you went to DRC, you can enter DRC from any point. But if you make the channel easier, they will come through that open channel. But how do we mm -hmm. also ensure that people do not import goods from China, brand them their country name and sell them in the continent? That's why you have what we call rules of origin. Mm -hmm. A product that you are going to sell in a country, when it arrives there, you must show that it was produced in the country you claim that it came from. Mm -hmm. You cannot import goods from China and say they are from Kenya and export them to Uganda. Mm -hmm. There must be a certificate of origin. Mm -hmm. And that certificate of origin is authenticated. Mm -hmm. That's why you have that dispute settlement mechanism. Okay. If Uganda doubts that that product didn't come here, they'll mm -hmm. come and check. If they find it, it didn't, then you are fined. Okay. Mm -hmm. The last tweet there by uh, Kevin Kabuya again. What benefits does African countries stand to gain through the continental agreement and what of trade outside the continent? Let's say the EU. Mm. We'll continue to export to Europe because it is going to take us a long time before we are able to uh, master technology and we also need technology from outside. Mm -hmm. But the biggest benefit is that it will help us to transform our economies mm -hmm. so that we become an industrial base. As it is at the moment, we remain at the lower level of
primary producers where we produce commodities and export them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, as we wind up, is the Continental Free Trade Area Agreement a silver bullet for Kenya Airways to go back to being the pride of Africa and it can rebrand itself as the African Korea, rather, um, connecting Africans to all African destinations. Let's say Lome in Togo. If you want to go to South Africa, they're there. If you want to go to Gambia, they're there. Guinea-Bissau, DRC. In increased movement of people, increased trade will always boost uh, travel, air travel. As to whether it's a silver bullet, that is for Kenya with to put itself in order and take advantage of this market. In fact, if you look at Ethiopian Airways, 70% of the revenue generated is from Africa. Mm -hmm. And so that is the base. Mm -hmm. You have 1.5 trillion, I mean billion people. These people, their incomes are increasing. If we start moving within each other, these airlines, their base will also expand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Ambassador, for making time. And this is not a conversation we can exhaust today. In six months, we'll, we'll have a conversation with you and say, how far are we tracking, right? It was nice having me, and uh -huh. thank you very much for this. And uh -huh. uh, I think it's a very good conversation because, mm -hmm. and I like the fact that your station has chosen to promote this activity, mm -hmm. and I see you are really positioned yourself to be a business-oriented uh, media house. What more do I need to say from Ambassador Rastas Mwenche himself? Yeah. But before I wind up, think of this. If Ethiopian airline, one of the leading airlines in this country, can make 70% of its income from the African continent, how much more can African businesses make from trading with each other? How stronger can African economies grow by trading with each other from 16%? Does the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement mean that in the next year, two, or even 50, like the European Union took, that we'll be at 71% in terms of trading with each other? Food for thought. Our social media handles are open at Metropole TV KE on all social media platforms. Talk to us. Hashtag Metropole Debrief. On behalf of everyone that made this show a success, thank you for watching. Have a good night. <laughs>